Beer has a very long history of advancing civilization. Taking this concept of how can a beer advance civilization by making sure there's a future for civilization to exist in on Mother Earth, that was an important component of bringing the Kerns of Pills project forward. So my hope for the future of agriculture and beer is that, you know, farmers and brewers continue to get more intimate and direct relationships with each other. Soil is what sustains agriculture, and if, if soil is not properly cared for, it's what will destroy it. I'm really excited about Kearns. I think it represents something that has never existed before. We've had annual grains, and they've been a part of humanity for thousands of years. Perennial grains like kerns are something completely new and different that have not been available to humanity and agriculture before. They represent a plant that's gonna regrow every year, that have these big, large, vigorous root systems that hold soil and provide a habitat for um, microbial communities in the soil that are doing many important things, making minerals and other nutrients available for the plants, preventing erosion, building soil organic matter, and sequestering carbon over time. So this vast network of roots are what hold the soil in place. You can imagine the soil profile with no roots. That's a very vulnerable soil, one that could be washed away or blown away if the wind and water are intense enough, and that happens all the time. So with this matrix of roots, which are in place year round, Kernza is actually building soil. It's adding organic matter, it's holding onto the minerals. It's a soil building crop. Almost all annual crops are slightly degrading to heavily degrading of soil. Kernza will come up every year, no matter what the condition of the soil moisture profile is. If there's moisture down here, that'll be fine. If there's moisture up there, that'll get the crop going. The most important aspect of perennial agriculture is to protect the soil. I think the future of food is in jeopardy. I think the future of humanity is in jeopardy. Here we are, literally, products of the Earth. The Earth is our maker, and it's our defender. The upper atmosphere protects the lower biosphere and makes it safe for life. And with proper restoration redeemer, we can redeem. But we got to get clear on that. We're still uh, acting as though we're ignoring what we know. <laughs> I think if we can save our soils, we can save our souls. rallying cry for Earth Day is invest in our planet. And if you can bring that to a human scale with a purchase decision for something that tastes lovely, but actually the rallying cry of what you're buying is drink up to draw it down, it becomes very easy to understand how we each have a, a role, a responsibility, and a capability to help address climate crisis. We literally grew from the smallest commercial brewery in the country, we started with a system that small, to a top 20 American indie craft brewery. And we did it by focusing on our unique sort of off-centered uh, raison d'etre, which has been all about introducing all natural culinary ingredients into the traditional brewing world that usually focuses on just 
water, yeast, hops, and barley. We like to go a lot further than that. Finding Kernza as a grain was like a epiphany moment for us because it's a grain that has its unique sort of spicy, earthy character and it acts as like a trampoline for certain hop varieties, just like bounce forward aromatically, particularly this organic Contessa hop that we found is just exponentially awesome when paired with a Kernza in an otherwise very simple, straightforward Pilsner recipe. Kernza is inordinately powerful at sequestering carbon from the atmosphere back into the earth. Through our project with our friends at Patagonia Provisions, we're inviting every beer lover, every nature lover to be part of investing in our earth, investing in our future with every sip of beer that they take.